Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today we'll be unboxing and assembling the Sandstrom Chevrolet TV stand. Um, we'll be putting this on this 55 inch LG um, TV here. Um, you can find both of these items um, in the description below if you want to purchase. One key thing is if we hit 1000 subscribers, I'll be giving them away another Strandstorm Chevrolet TV stand just for you. So please um, like and subscribe so one of our lucky subscribers can get one of these. So here's go here, here goes with the unboxing. Let's go with the unbox. It's taped on three sides. Um, this was purchased from Harry's in the UK. You can possibly get this on um, Amazon, I believe. It feels like it's um, almost like Snoopy cubes um, that have been cut short. Um, and I think it will be laid out somewhat like this. I believe um, this works both on um, 55 inch TVs and I believe 65 inch. I will confirm that um, with you in the instructions anyway. And here's the last bit, which is the bracket. You see this is the stand for the bracket. Um, these are the TV brackets, a few screws in the back, let's have a look at these. And a cable tie wire. Okay, we are now going to start assembling um, the TV stand. Two things you will need is a drill or a screwdriver and it's essential to have a cloth so you can lay your TV down um, as you'll be screwing the brackets in at the back. So let's start with um, the TV stand itself. You've got the two longer parts. Um, the longer part will go into one side of the two sides. If you have two, it's always quite helpful. Takes a while, but you get there. Great, one done. The second longest side, screwed in. Just make sure it's nice and tightly in. The third side, which is the shorter side, goes right at the end here, and that gets screwed in. It's a bit of a workout, guys. <laughs> gets quite tiring. Okay, once it's screwed in, it is quite lightweight and it stands like this. As you can see, it's rather tall. Um, if that was the stand, um, you can see the height of um, the stand here. Now the next stage is we're going to put this to, to the side and you're going to get your TV. Everyone's TV is slightly different, has a different shape, um, has different screws. So within the instructions, they've actually given us a set of different screws that works dependent on your TV. So um, I'll put that in the description of my exact TV um, in the description below. So if you have something similar, you kind of know um, what screw to use. So that will be the next stage of assembly. So now our stand is up, um, we are going to get our TV. It currently has the old um, TV stand that will go on a kind of TV stand. So what we're going to do is remove this and start mounting on the TV. 
remember I said that you're gonna need a cloth. So I've got a cloth here and I'm going to lay this down so that the TV can be put down also gently. This just gives a bit of protection for your TV. As you lay it down. So as you can see, we just need a screwdriver just to undo um, some of our screws. So I've got my screwdriver here. So taking out these screws, your TV might be totally different. Okay, so now um, some of you may have bought your TV brand new and you may not have needed to do all of that. But for those of you who haven't, make sure your TV can easily lie on the piece of cloth. And the next step, so you will need to get these two brackets. Um, these brackets are both very different. If you were to come a little bit closer, you'll see. One has a screw. This is the opening bracket which goes, which goes at the bottom and the other one does not have a screw. So if you look at the difference, one slightly bigger with a screw and the other one isn't because this opens up um, when you slide this into the legs of um, the TV stand. Ideally, you would want to ensure that your plug socket can fit in adequately. And to, to, the, to do that, They've created these little um, risers that goes on top of the screws here for your TV. So it depends on your TV size. Um, you want to make sure that it, it's enough so that the plugs can go in. Okay, so I'm gonna put this on top of the four screws like so and align my TV with the arrow facing up. Remember the one with the screw will be on the lower part and the one without a screw will be the higher part of the TV. Now, um, what screw are you going to use? Well, there's different screws for different sizes, so it's maybe it'll be great for you to experiment with what works best. Um, I'm gonna go for a B6, and on top of that, I'm going to go with like just a screw bracket slider, just to ensure um, it doesn't damage the, the bracket of the TV. So. Um, I'm trying to center this right in the middle and what I'm going to do is to get my screwdriver and just screw in. Um, each TV is made slightly differently and as you can see, screwed in. Here's a B6 screwdriver with a flat bracket on top and screwed it. As you can see, I've tried to align it as close to the center of my TV as possible. So your inputs can um, go in. So just have a little think about that. Okay, for the next one, you will need um, these smaller brackets. Um, this can be, these are quite similar. Um, this can be used to tie wires around the top um, if needs be, or it can be used. So wherever you think wires need to follow down through, you can use this. So um, you can just use this similar here, put here and start screwing in. So I'm going to get a B6 screwdriver again. These are the last two B6s because they seem to work best for my TV and screw those in. So I'm gonna do that right now. Okay, so now we have screwed in all our um, screws into the brackets. We've put the spaces underneath just to ensure there's enough access for the cables and just, just make sure that all of your arrows are pointing up because this is how the TV will somewhat fit in. So everything is pointing up. Um, if you are going to um, actually have some fixing to the walls, um, you may need um, these these brackets above that with a bit of holes in there, um, which are these ones. These are for if you're going to fix this onto the wall, but if you're not, that is not um, required at all. So once you've screwed in 
your bracket onto your TV. I'm gonna get a few pillows just to prop up the TV. Um, this is to ensure that this TV stand can come up. And as you can also see, is that this bottom area of the TV, um, this can actually open up once you undo the screw. So I'm going to prop the TV up slightly here. This is just to ensure that the bracket has enough space. So I'm just gonna use a few pillows. And then what I'll do, I'll just get the stand and open up the bracket and hopefully slide this in. As you can see, it's now slid in. Close, and then I would unscrew. But before I unscrew, I want to just figure out if I can push, make sure that my, um, because my leveling of the sofa is quite low, I would like this bracket to go further up so the TV is slightly lower. So I'm just going to get, I'm going to unscrew this area here. So I'm just gonna tighten these up. One, two. Am I happy with it? Will this bracket be able to be seen from the back? I'm going to just readjust it a little bit more. So you can kind of readjust how far you want it to, to, to go down. I'm also gonna readjust here because I believe that I would want this slightly lower. So to do that, same thing, bring it lower, screw and screw in here, push this in, close this bracket here, and I'm going to also screw these in. They're screwed in safely. Get the screwdriver, make sure this is tight. And this is the moment of truth. This should hopefully be held up securely. Once you've adjusted um, how you want your TV stand, it's important you think about the cable management. So if you come and have a look here, I'm going to put our own main wire and the main socket plug through here. Um, there's a strap, there's a little clip here, so you can make that hole there. And you may want it neatly tied here. So there's a cable strap that comes with this and I'm just going to um, run this through. It's just a simple cable strap. And make sure it runs through before it gets plugged. Now, um, for the moment of truth, I'm going to lift up the TV from my cushions and um, show you how it looks. So this usually would need two people. I'm going to do this myself, so wish give me the best of luck. And um, just double check that all your screws are, are tight um, because safety is just the best um, measure for things like this. Just make sure all your brackets are um, secure there. And let's get to... Um, getting this TV up. So you want to make sure the two sh shorter legs are actually um, down and then we're going to hold just the TV alone and slowly pull up the bracket. Okay. Now I should be able to lift up the TV and the bracket in one, putting it to my desired location. Let me clear the pillows. And as you can see, the TV here, with the swivel function at the height that I like it. And um, everything, the cable management is done securely. Just going to plug that in there. And voila, we have our TV up and working. Okay, if you like this bracket, um, tell, tell me what you think. Um, it works on our 55 inch TV. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comment below. Remember, we are going to have a giveaway for all our subscribers. So please subscribe. We will do the giveaway once we get to 1000 subscribers and you can win a bracket. Hopefully you are able to get yours up and running. Thank you so much. Um, see you next time.